companies are targeting to finish late-stage trials by the third week of November, after which they will immediately apply for an emergency use authorization from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Russia's Gamaleya also claims that its vaccine Sputnik V is more than 90% effective against COVID. The pharmaceutical company will be publishing preliminary trial results this month. And as for China's Sinovac, late-stage trials in Brazil have been halted after an adverse effect on one participant last October. Health authorities in Brazil have yet to announce the date of the resumption. Health authorities brand as a welcome development the promising results of a vaccine jointly developed by Pfizer and BioNTech. Dr. Jaime Montoya, Executive Director of the Science and Technologies Philippine Council for Health Research and Development, hopes the shots prove to be safe and effective. That means if the data truly supports that kind of uh, efficacy, then they will easily get approved uh, in the U.S. and subsequently here in the Philippines. Vaccine SAR Secretary Carlito Galvez earlier said that the country is now in talks with 17 vaccine manufacturers, including Pfizer. Nung panahon na nandiyan po si President Trump, nag-usap po ang ating mahal presidente, na ipapriority po ng U.S. ang Philippines. So through Pfizer and other uh, uh, companies like Moderna, the negotiation with Pfizer is for the procurement of vaccines. The Philippine ambassador to the United States, Babes Romualdez, assures the public that Pfizer's vaccine will be sold at a reasonable price in countries like the Philippines. Hindi naman ibebenta sa mga bayan kagaya natin ng mahal dahil alam nila na tayo ay simple, which is a simple country, moderate. So, but so it will be sold to. Many of their allies, uh, specifically in the Philippines, na uh, hindi naman gano'ng kamahal. Uh, it will probably be around uh, $5 siguro per shot. Health officials also laud the favorable results of Gamaleya's ongoing Phase three clinical trials for Sputnik V. If they're all 100% or more than 90% effective, that's very good. Why? Because that means we have many to choose from. And we will not be just using one vaccine or two vaccines, but many vaccines. While Gamaleya's application for clinical trial phase 3 in the country is still pending for months now, authorities say they can already apply for certificate of product registration before the FDA, as long as they're complete with their last stage trials. Pfizer and BioNTech's candidate vaccine, as well as Gamalea and other manufacturers are using different platforms or technology for their vaccine development. Some are also using inactivated vaccines. All of these require a certain level of cold storage and cold chain. Yung kasi mga inactivated virus ay uh, nagre-range lang sa 2 to 8 degrees centigrade ang kailangang lamig. And uh, most of our hospitals have that kind of storage facility. Vaccine SAR Secretary Galvez says the government is prepared to handle the cold storage requirement of each vaccine that they will procure. He adds that all of these are part of the country's COVID-19 vaccine roadmap, which the IATF has recently approved. For News 5, Greg Gregorio, We Are One News.